Hi, I'm Chris Moles, Intero's General Counsel. What is mediation and what is arbitration? They are probably the, the easiest or most explained concepts in real estate law, and yet it's probably the most common question any of us get, realtors and lawyers alike. And usually we make it way more complex than it needs to be. For instance, mediation is nothing more than a private meeting. The parties are basically saying, let's get together and try and hatch this out outside of court. In our real estate purchase contracts, mediation is a boilerplate clause. What it says is, if the buyer wants to sue the seller, or if the seller wants to sue the buyer, first, they have to invite the other side to mediate with them. They have to invite the other side to get together and try and work it out informally. And only after that can they bring their claim to court. Mediation has no rules, it has no judges, and it has no decisions. There's no winner or loser. Mediation is simply a meeting. Usually it's moderated by a mediator, and a mediator can be anyone in the world both sides want it to be. Usually you pick a judge, a retired judge, or a lawyer, somebody who can help each side evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of their case so they can anticipate what's going to happen in the future if they don't settle now. But a mediator can be anyone, and they simply moderate the discussion so that it's fruitful. Either side can get up and walk away at any time, and there's no penalty for doing so. So what is arbitration? Arbitration is court without a courtroom. Arbitration gets rid of all the civil procedure, the judge, the, the courtroom, the appeals process, the juries. It's simply the buyer and the seller get together and pick a third party, anyone on the, in the world they both agree to, to settle their dispute for them. And that person, that third party, will issue a binding decision and that decision will be enforced by any court in the state. Arbitration is usually quicker, and it's usually less formal, but there's no appeals process and there's no jury. So if the decision comes out and it's a ruling that no other judge would come up with and no court would come up with, there's no appeal. It's a final decision, and that's what you're entitled to in arbitration, a quick and final decision by someone you've helped pick and who you ostensibly trust. You're not entitled to a judge and you're not entitled to a jury. So when does this come up? Well, arbitration, unlike mediation, is a very consequential decision in the purchase contract. And so it is a specific and affor affirmative decision. When you fill out your purchase contract, you have no choice on mediation. The clause is in there, it's boilerplate. But arbitration is specifically chosen by the parties. If you initial it and the other party initials it, you have agreed to arbitrate future dis disputes instead of take them to court. When considering whether or not to arbitrate, help your client understand what's important to them. Is a quick and private process important to them? Or is a long public process with multiple appeals important to them? And there's no right or wrong answer. They should do what they feel is best. They also should consider what the other side wants. If one side initials the arbitration provision and another side does not, there is no arbitration provision. However, there might not be a meeting of the minds between the two parties. And so that contract, the whole contract, could technically be voidable all the way up until the point of close of escrow. So when filling out the purchase contract, knowing what arbitration is, what mediation is, and how they interplay is very important. Obviously, if you have questions about this, feel free to contact me and we'll work through it together. Thank you. Thank you.